Hi all, Jeanette here, and you're visiting the Neal's Homestead. As you can see, we have a lot of quail eggs right now. Our quail have started laying good. We've, we've got some lights on them that's just making them lay good, and one building of them has a, quite a bit of heat. Um, although the ones that are cold, they're laying a lot better too since we put a light on them. I've been looking at several different ways to use quail eggs, and pickled eggs is where I'm going to start. So let's look at what we're going to do. The ingredients I'm going to use are most of these quail eggs probably. I don't know about how many there are, but maybe I'm going to use like four dozen quail eggs. And then uh, we'll, of course, for pickling the quail eggs, we'll use vinegar. I'm going to use white vinegar. Use whatever vinegar you have if you're going to do this. I'm using a mixed pickling spice that I get from my local Amish bulk food store. I don't know for sure what all is in here, but there's, I know there's mustard seed and bay leaves and some red stuff in there that I think is probably some peppers and some peppercorns. And there's something big in there like uh, coriander or something. I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, this is what I'm gonna use. And then I'll be using some garlic. I'll put it in this half gallon jar when I'm done and so let's get started by uh, putting the eggs in the sink. I haven't kept very good track of how old some of these eggs are so the times they are have a little hole in them or are broken in some way and I don't always see it and I put it in there so I'm going to put them in a sink of water to wash them and to see if any of them float, if the ones that float, I will throw them away. As I'm doing it, I'll try to look them over and see if there's anything that's broken. Well, I do have several here that float free uh, up at the top. If they do that, then get them out of there because you certainly don't want to boil those and try to add them to your, your recipe. It means they're too old, they've gotten broken and dried out or whatever uh, has occurred. I've weeded out the ones that uh, floated and I've got them over here. I haven't looked at them real close, but I can see that a lot of them uh, have cracks in them. so. That's why they just went bad. And uh, so I've got a pan. I'm gonna put them in, cover them with water and set them on the stove to start boiling. Because quail eggs are so small, you only have to boil them for about three minutes to get them to the hard boiled stage. And I, this is my first time doing it, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to want to over boil them because uh, it kind of messes up eggs if you overcook them. I suggest letting the eggs simmer, kick the temperature back a bit. After the time's up, carefully drain off the hot water. Don't burn yourself. Then run cold water in there to let the eggs cool. While the eggs are cooling, we're going to go ahead and mix up our brine. And I've got three cups of vinegar here that I will put in there. I'm going to use a heaped up tablespoon of salt for here. I think about four teaspoons is what's needed, so I'm just going to heap it up like that and call it good. I'll add my garlic. I'm putting whole garlic in there. You could cut it if you'd like. And then I'm going to put three tablespoons of my pickling spice in there. We'll let that come to a boil, then set it off to cool while we peel the eggs. When the eggs are cool enough to peel, we'll go ahead and start peeling them. I'm going to put them in this jar as I get them peeled. I haven't ever peeled them before, so it's going to be, you're going to learn along with me. 
I know that the membrane underneath the shell is a little tougher on a quail egg, so I'm hoping that might help the process because the shell is kind of crumbly. It's more crumbly than a, a chicken egg or even than a duck egg. It wants to like break off in tiny little pieces like you can see right there. Well, that worked pretty good. I'll have to rinse the shell off of that and then we'll get it into the, the jar. I'll tell you what, this has been a tedious job that I've undertaken here to peel all these eggs. They're really hard to peel because of the crumbly shell and even, for the most part even the ones that are obviously older than um, the others are still hard to peel. I think the older ones are a little bit easier to peel but not easy enough. So here's the shell yard of all of the eggs that I peeled. Doesn't really seem like much, but it took me a long time. I thought I'd show you if you can see on here. Inside the shells is really kind of a very pretty blue color that is in contrast to the rest of the shell. If you can see on here. I have heard, although I've never gone to a fancy restaurant uh, that served quail eggs, that the uh, meal price is exorbitantly high. And I thought that it was just like a novelty. But to tell you the truth, dealing with little quail eggs is kind of a pain. It's not that the quail, getting the eggs from the quail is any more expensive than getting an egg from a chicken. I mean, they're pretty cheap to feed and everything. but dealing with peeling those little quail eggs is quite a job. I didn't ever figure out an easy way to do it except maybe to open the, the big end where there hopefully would be a little hollow space and then try to peel it off in sheets as best you can but it's uh, I'm here to tell you that it's not an easy thing to do. So let's get on with the next process. After we get the eggs peeled and the brine has cooled considerably we're just going to pour the brine over the top of the eggs Make sure you get all the little goodies down in there. Just barely have enough brine. Then I'll put the lid on this. I'm intending to keep this in my refrigerator. Some directions I saw said that you can actually process this in jars for 10 minutes in a hot water bath. And I think that would be a pretty good thing to do if you've got a lot of eggs. But I'm going to save this for our family Christmas gathering and give everybody a chance to eat some quail eggs if they want to. And I think that will be a fun treat. Well, thanks so much for coming and visiting with me today as I learned how to peel the quail eggs and how to make some pickled quail eggs. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>